Yeah. What do you think? Homely or not? Uh, I need to talk about something else that's going on here. We've got a massive problem. So the deliverer's arrived and he's on to the next project now. This toffee apple bread and butter pudding smells delicious. That's what this weekend is all about, solving problems. Hi there, welcome back to a new weekend vlog. It's Friday lunchtime and we've got a very very busy weekend planned lots of work lots of home diy and various bits and pieces to do so i look forward to sharing lots with you i hope you're well hope you've had a good week it's christmas week as this goes out so i hope you had an amazing christmas let us know um, what you've been up to have you had lots of family time have you managed to recharge those batteries because that's to me what it should be about recharging and quality family time with and time with friends so i hope you managed to tick those off your boxes for us right now it is still um, a few days before christmas so we haven't got that far yet um Aid's off work today, but he's doing various things. He's had to take the car to, or pick the car up because it was serviced this week and MOT'd. He's gone to get a haircut. He's gone back to his parents to collect some bits and pieces, um, including gift wrap because we need to wrap all the presents and that was still there. Um, I'm expecting an IKEA delivery today, so I'm excited about that. I've had another delivery which I'm about to open and I'm about to start packing my first lots of lot of kits in this house i have got a crabby old christmas movie on and i've just laid everything out i haven't packed any yet but this is going to be my area where i pack my monthly kits if you are new to my channel welcome by the way i'm lisa and i do run a business from home a creative business and one of the things i do i have monthly subscription crafty creative boxes for like journaling scrapbooking memory keeping all that kind of thing and once a month I have to stand and pack them so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing this weekend as it's Friday we're going to have a charcuterie night so I have baked a loaf and I've just literally had a delivery of a rug um, the rugs aren't working. <laughs> I bought those. Oh, I had the rug from our previous home in the, by the front door. And I love it because I can wash it. It's so good. It dries overnight on the radiator. But because it's a new build and it's very much a building site, we just, you step in and everything's messy. No matter how much you brush off your feet before you come in, everything is wet and messy. So I've decided to try a, natural jute rug it's really big and i just think for the time being maybe this is the best option i bought it on amazon and it was very reasonably priced for a huge one it was 24 pounds so i'm gonna see how this one is and if it works well i might get another one so that we've got one for the back door as well but um yeah i'm quite impressed with this it got really good reviews and the idea is that um should be able to shake it off outside or brush it when it gets really muddy. Oh, I like this. That's quite nice. Right, let's go. Oh, it's got the work top dirty. Let's go and lay it down and see what it looks like. I mentioned a few times that we've given up with the nicer rugs and we've been using this protective flooring and I'm expecting a delivery from Ikea and I'm hoping he's going to bring the unit in. So I thought I would put this down, but I want to see what the new flooring looks like. Let's move this out of the way. That is proper heavy duty door rug, isn't it? I think that might be the more sensible option at the moment. No, it's not a great match with those baskets. But um, they're not actually staying there. They're going to be going in the larder. We do actually have a shoe cupboard to go there, which is white from Ikea. And that's one of the things that Aid's planning to do today, or at least this weekend anyway. Yes or no, should the other rug live in here? Does that look homely or does it? kind of mess with the minimalist look. No, we're not exactly minimalist at the moment as it's Christmas and there's loads of bits and pieces out, but I don't know, what do you think? Homely or not? Uh, I need to talk about something else that's going on here. We've got a massive problem. Um, we're using the garage for storage. We knew it was going to be cold 
and we'd have to be careful with things but the boxes are starting to get damp um, we've been here three weeks now we're trying to unpack as much as we can but we don't have places for everything we can't use the loft because it's a new build and the insulation is super super thick you can get stilts and put loft boards on it's not advised can affect the warranty aid wants to get up there eventually and put shelving up there so at least we can put like the kids lego boxes and all their old toys and things like that up there suitcases could also live up there we've been told um and also like Christmas decorations so we need to get them some shelving up there we also want to insulate the garage we've got a really good pitched roof and we need to get everything off the ground because the boxes um, on one side it's fine on the other next to the garden it isn't and the moisture's going into the boxes and we're panicking now that we're going to end up with moldy things so a desperately needs to get in there this weekend. We needed to get organized for Christmas, but that is number one priority now. We bought in a load of stuff yesterday, my work stuff, some of the kids stuff, and he wants to get in there this weekend. We went to go and buy loft boards in B&Q the other day, but we had um, a hire car, or like a car given to us while his car was in the garage, and it was a hatchback and we couldn't fit the loft boards in. So he's got to take the car to B&Q this weekend to buy loft boards and try and get some um, loft boards up in the rafters in the garage to just get everything or as much as possible off the ground. So that is a massive job for him this weekend, I feel for him. He's just like Superman at the moment. He's just been doing so much, working really long hours and um i really feel for him he's just trying to do everything at the moment but that's a massive job that he needs to do this weekend ikea are almost here i have to say ikea delivery might be a little bit on the pricey side compared to a lot of other places that you order from but their delivery app or the link that they give so you can track the drivers is amazing um they let us know yesterday the slot it was going to be between 12 and 4 and they've been updating today and then I've been able to track the driver. It's just amazing. It's so, so handy. So the deliverer has arrived. Apparently it went on the van like this. It is a little bit damaged, but I was just discussing with him and we both agree. I think this is going to be on the back or something, so it's not really going to get noticed. I'm not super fussy, as long as it's not on the front and on display, which it wouldn't be because it's drawers. Um, I'm okay with that, so we'll see how it is. I also ordered myself something extra. Something I've been wanting and I almost picked it up last time and then I regretted not doing this up. I'm hoping it's intact. By the way, oh, I just realized as well that this is going out New Year's Eve. Um, I did a full furnished home tour um, a couple of days ago. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. And I mentioned about the porchway not looking finished and I've actually, just as Ikea was saying goodbye, um, I really hope this is all okay. Um, somebody, a builder came out asking to look at our porch. They're building another one. They have all done bespoke porches and they're making another one so they wanted to come and have a look. And I asked him about the bit at the bottom, asked if it was finished and he said he's not sure but he agreed it doesn't look quite finished. So um, he's having a look. Ooh. Aid agreed with me when we got home that yes, we need another cloche. Um, I bake all the time, as you know, and I like to have one for sweet. Oh, sorry, I've got, I'm loving my watch, by the way. I know I spoke about it previously. I love this watch. Just got a, th just a notification to let me know I've got a text from Ikea to fill out a survey. Um, yeah, and I, if I put things in the cupboard, I forget about them. So, um, oh, this is so pretty. So I wanted another cloche so that I can have savoury um, under one, sweet in the other. Isn't that pretty? It's just so heavy. I love that. £15. I think that is such a great price. I love my cake stands. And now I have two. I am super chuffed with that. I might do sweet under this one and savoury in the other. I've got stollen at the moment. Oh, I've got my new loaf of bread as well. We can test it out. I will be having a little jiggle. This belongs on the table, but obviously I'm kit packing at the moment. I've just had some bread out. I've been trying to encourage birds into our garden. Um, I can see them up behind the fence on the trees and I want them to come in. Fruit bowl won't generally live here. And then we've got the extra little Christmassy bits. But something I want to talk about is the A word. I won't say it because I don't want to go setting them off. 
I don't want it on here. Aid's put it on here. We both use it, but I don't want it on the work surface. Where do you put yours? It's really handy in the kitchen and I use it, so I'm not complaining. I just don't want it to sat there. I wonder if we could actually, I wonder actually around by the TV. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Hmm. Actually, yeah, to have it there and have like the media stuff all together. And then I've got room for the extra cake stand. I think I prefer that idea. Um, this I will be keeping. It was in the bottom of the cloche box. Cover that in foil. I've got a little cake board. There we go. I've got my little own bakery now. Um, Stollen, made by Lidl, by the way. And the jar and the tin are ready for homemade cookies next week when the kids come home. All right, six o'clock. And we're starting our date night, aren't we? We are. It's time for a charcuterie board. Um, because we're now pickle connoisseurs. <laughs> we're gonna try Waitrose pickled onions. They were so much cheaper than the garners, weren't they? Also, the garners. Yeah. Struggling to find them in the big jars. Mm. We know Waitrose sell them, we know Morrison sell them, but nowhere seems to be selling the big jars anymore. Right, I'm gonna cut this one in half. So if anyone's seen the big jars, let me know, let us know where they are. Open this in your mouth. Ah. What do you think? Mm. Passable. Doesn't have that garners. They're quite bland. There's no They're not. Oh, sorry, I stood on your toe. There's no spice. They're very similar, so you know when you get a jar of silver skin? Yeah, but onions. not sweet. No, but silver skin aren't necessarily sweet. A little bit. Um, not as strong as the silver skin. I mean, what were they? A pound something? Yeah. The price was a lot better. Yeah. I have actually got pickling spices in the cupboard. <laughs> I wonder about actually adding pickling mm. spices. It just needs a bit of warmth, doesn't it? A bit of oomph. Oh. Right, let's get this charcuterie board going. Just doing the spread for tonight. This is our favourite blue cheese. What else have we got? Just some cheapy old pate, got chorizo, got some garlic sausage, got some salami. Um, oh, Abe bought these to try the other day and we love them. Really, really good. Um, oh, we got some more of that Glastonbury cheese that we've still got. So I'm going to cut up some of that. And we've got some Golda in there as well. And then our favourite go-to cheddar. Here we go, we're going to take this into the lounge. So we've got like pickles and olives, jalapenos, we've got salami, cheddar, pate, chorizo, blue cheese, golda. Um, this is a German tomato salad that I made with vinegar and onions. We've got a couple of M&S sausage rolls that Aid picked up today. Garlic sausage, um, blue cheese, peanuts and grapes. Bread and crackers. Um, tonight we are having Fortnum's Boxing Day Pickle and we've got butter as well. And tonight's beverage of choice is ginger wine. Uh, we're going to get into our PJs. I think we're going to watch Four Christmases and get cosy with all this on the sofa. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Um, I started my work day really early, 5.30 in fact, and that was even me trying to get back to sleep for a while. I just woke up naturally. And um, so I've been editing, I've got so much done. I need to get back into my normal getting up early. I've been setting my alarm for sort of six in the morning and then sort of getting up around 6.30. Um, but I miss my getting up at five and just getting to eight o'clock and feeling like I've got so much done. Um, I'm not sleeping great since I've been here. I wasn't sleeping great before I came and now I'm wondering if it's just me. It's nothing to do with living circumstances. Um, yeah, it's just, I think, I don't know, busy head maybe, I don't know. But um, anyway, it is 9.30, I've already got so much done. We need to solve problems today or this weekend. That's what this weekend is all about, solving problems. I'm gonna do kit packing. I'm about to get a chili in the crock pot. Um, I'm gonna do like a vegan chili soup style chili thing. Um, do a bit of a batch cook as well. I've got tomatoes, peppers that need using up, so I'm gonna get that on. I'm gonna put a bit of Jamie Oliver on in the background. Um, can't go wrong with a bit of Jamie Oliver. He's my type of cook, just a no nonsense, no fuss, throw it in, not measure things. Um, that's the kind of thing I like, so I'm gonna have a bit of Jamie on. Um, Aid needs to make a list. Um, he's got so much, bless him, to do this weekend. Um, I need to write the list for him because we keep saying he needs a list. 
Finally, plumb in the dishwasher, that's still not been done. Sort out the storage for Louis's room so that we can put some stuff in there. Um, build the benches for the table. There's a reason for that as well, which I will share with you later. Um, do the shoe storage because that will really help. Um, and every single thing be, with him doing something means that it helps another area out in the house. I want to empty the cupboard upstairs this weekend as well. It's a really big cupboard. It's just full of bedding at the moment. That can actually go into the garage. If it goes mouldy, that's not the end of the world. I'm going to put all my studio stuff in there, which will hopefully empty the kids' rooms out. There's just lots of piece jigsaw pieces. Everything is moving things around and by us doing something helps something else. He wants to do a call with Ikea now. He's not happy with that desktop. The guy told me when he delivered it, it was the bit behind the desk. He wouldn't see. A says it's the top of the desk. And although it's underneath, you might still see it. And the worry is that in time, it's eventually going to get worse. And at the end of the day, we've paid nearly 200 quid for a piece of furniture. And as Aid said last night, we may as well have just gone on Facebook Marketplace and ordered something that was damaged or paid for something that was damaged. So he's going to get onto them. Problem is, though, he needs to do it this weekend and we just don't want it delayed. So I don't know what he's going to do with that. Um, anyway, enough talking. I'm going to get on and make this chili. And I also want to finish doing kits as well. I am loving packing here, by the way. I have got a delicious chilli soup there on the go with lots of beans and lentils as well. I absolutely love soup season. My sister is away this weekend with her husband's side of the family, with Ben's side, and all of them have gone to Butlins for the weekend. I think that is so cool. Um, we were talking about it and I know it's a big expense right on Christmas and it is part of her kids Christmas presents but I just said to her you're never going to remember what your kids got this year for Christmas what they unwrapped but you'll always have those memories from this weekend so I think that's priceless I think that's the best Christmas ever or the best Christmas gift ever I'm all about the experiences the memory making that kind of thing so i think it's really nice that her family are doing that um let me know if you've done any like trips out like family days out anything like that over the um, holiday season i'd love to know what you've done as a family or with friends um we've really missed our london trip this year we've missed it so much we've done it for as long as i can remember always gone to london to see the lights always taking the kids and it's the first trip we just haven't, or the first year, we just haven't had time to do any trips this year with the move. I know we're gonna do a couple of days out with the kids when they come, so I guess that would be our little fix, but they're going to be um, obviously more local trips than going further afield. But we're still looking forward to some fun adventures with them. Right, Aid's just joining me. Aid, this video is going out New Year's Eve, so although yes. it's just before Christmas for us, I'm just trying. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about New Year. We're actually having a different kind of New Year this year. We well, yeah, different. I mean, we have done a similar kind of thing before, haven't we? A long time ago, yeah. yeah. Um, we're um, seeing it in, in the house here with my sister and Ben. Yep. Um, we've done it with Does friends. Just have to come. Yes. <laughs> we've done it with friends for years and years, haven't we? We used to hmm. celebrate or see the New Year in over at my sister's. They have a little, what do you call it? Um, Community. It's a bit like... Um, it's like a, not working man's club, but what do you call them? I don't know. It is like a community stroke working man's Yeah, sort of so you have a separate area. family so there's, area. There's a bar and there's a family area as well. Yeah, so we, when the kids were really little, we used to go there. Hmm. There'd be a disco and you'd, yeah. you were allowed to take your own food. They didn't supply food. Um, it was so nice, wasn't it? And then we started staying local and seeing friends and we've done that for years now. And it's the first time we're not doing that. And well, I think also with the friends, I think we would love to stay here, mm. but then we can't expect well, one of the our friends, they've, they've obviously, there's a few reasons well, really. Well, Emily's cr um, flight crew and she's on standby until 8.30 in the evening. Yeah, so that's a bit tricky. <laughs> yeah. So they're obviously needing to stay home, so it's completely different this year. But we're so looking forward to actually going back to almost our roots and seeing it in with Sarah Jane and Ben. And they're also in a situation where they've got kids that are older. Little bit, well, older, but not old enough to kind of. I mean, oh, they're our may, friends, sorry. Yeah, I so thought you were talking gonna, about Sarah Jane and no, Ben. No, so they're going to obviously need to maybe be around to obviously Trips. pick up. So we can't expect them to be here. No. Uh, we could obviously go there, but I think this is the first year in our new house, so we kind of want to be here, don't we? I'm really looking forward yeah. to seeing it. I think with Sarah Jane and Ben, they've been the story of our house. Seeing the yeah. house when it was like 
being built and then helping us move in. It just, I don't know, it just feels really right to me. So I'm so excited. They're staying over. We're gonna have a games night and just loads of picky foods. So I would love to hear from you with it being New Year's Eve. What are your plans? And uh, I think this is also a good time to wish everyone a happy new year while yes. I've got you here. Yeah. I didn't want to do it without you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so happy new, year happy new year to you everyone. all. Um, we hope um, you have a lovely time. And although this isn't the end of the video, we wish you lots of luck for 2024. What have you got exciting planned? What have you got planned for 2024? No sorting out. <laughs> I was going to say, settling into the house. Exactly, yes. Um, yeah, we haven't got many plans, have we? No, not yet. We just want um, to settle, have some local adventures. Yeah, we, we kind of have kept it kind of open, should we say, because we knew there'd be things to sort out, we knew there'd be things here that we wanted to get done and do. So um, We're excited, actually, aren't yeah, we? Exactly. We almost want to, we want to have that time to explore. Yeah. So I think locally wise, I think that's something we will be doing. I think you had the idea, I can't remember where it's from, but it was almost like making sure that you take a day, whether it be every week mm. or whatever, just to do something and it just be the fact that means move, watching movies all day. Yeah. Or that be going for a lovely walk. We love our walks, we haven't done that yet, so I'm really looking forward to that. And um, we do have a big trip planned, but that's later in the year. So yeah. we will talk about that another yeah. time. But um, yeah, so we want to hear from you though. Let us know what you've got to look forward to in 2024. And we want to hear all about your New Year's plans as well, don't mm. we? Right, we've got big lists to do. Yes. Let's crack on. Little IKEA update. Aid's doing a chat with them and basically they can't get a replacement out to us until later in the week which is no good because the kids louis comes home in four days time we actually even paid extra for the express delivery so that we could have it for this weekend when aids off work to put it together um but they said that we can order another one and it'll be here tomorrow um so i don't know he's having a chat with them also for any of you that are i know there's lots of you that love what was it called sweet magnolias you know that really really lovely tv series um i think it was on netflix look it's her i found this christmas movie and the funny thing is the male leading role is actually the guy who plays her husband in the Sweet Magnolias. Isn't that cool? Holidays? Look, it's him. Both well, of them. I don't know what that word means anymore. That, the Sweet Magnolias, I'm sure it's Sweet Magnolias, isn't it? Is my favourite thing that I've watched on TV this year. I absolutely love that. Right, Aids here. Right, so we're not discussing IKEA no, and their not. terrible customer service. We're going to stay positive again. Yep, and I've got the box here, which is the, tr the true storage, the shoe storage, <laughs> not the true storage, the shoe storage. Let me close this door because I've just yeah, we sorry. used the downstairs toilet. It's a bit of an IKEA storage at the moment, or yeah. storage for stuff. So I've got the drawer, uh, draw shoe storage here. I've got a little bit of polystyrene foamy stuff here just to rest on just if there's anything there. But no, I'm going to make this here because they're going to go into the hallway, aren't they? Uh, it's going to go there. I actually really like that mirror there, but the shoe storage is going to be there and it's going to be a little bit high, so mm. that's going to need to come away. And the baskets are going to go in the larder. Yeah. yeah it's a shame about that, isn't it? Yeah. I do. Look, I really like that mirror there. It looks really nice. Mm. Where are we going to put the mirror? I don't need to have a look at the shoe storage. Also, we will have a look to see how deep the shoe storage Could is. Could even there. put that in the downstairs toilet for now yeah. against the wall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Good luck. Thank you. Looks like you're making good progress there. It's starting to get there. Is that quite an easy one to put together? Yeah, not too bad. Cool. It takes time. Right. First piece done. We were looking for a piece of furniture in here for the storage. Didn't think it would fit. We measured it. It was too big. But actually... I think because we measured it to the door frame thinking it wouldn't look right. It doesn't look too bad, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, we had originally though planned to have coats above, which we're not going to be able to. I've just stuck that there. It doesn't obviously go there. Just put that there for now. Um, skirting board needs to be cut around behind the back. Ah, we, yeah, yeah, we don't, can't don't, use it yeah. at the moment. Um, skirting board needs to be cut. Well, we can, but we just need to... Yeah, so that needs to be cut at the back. So, so then it push can, against the ball and, and then, then we screw can fix to the it to the wall. Yeah, I quite like that there. I think it looks nice. And he's on to the next project now. You did it. Yeah. Thank you very much.
There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the after I think this actually looks really nice uh, with the tablecloth on. Um, we've got the other bench underneath at the moment. I thought it would be really nice for resting our feet on. But actually I think we're going to use that in the larder for the time being. Um, I'll deal with that tomorrow. But the bench actually matches the um, bar stools as well. I mean the quality isn't amazing. Uh, they were a 50 I think £59 for the two bar stools and £50 something for the two benches. Um, I'll leave the links in Amazon, in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. But to be honest, they feel really comfy, they don't wobble, they're sturdy, and like I said, we prefer to have the table, table actually covered. It just feels too much wood with the floor as well, so we like to have it covered so you can't tell anyway. Um, so I think for the price, I think it's really good. And like I was saying, the majority of the time it's just two of us, so we're not going to use them anyway. Um, I think it just looks better than having the backs of the chairs there. It just gives it just the vision of it flows, doesn't it? You haven't got it blocking. So um, yeah, I think that was a really good buy. Seeing the stool with the bench there, I think that looks quite nice. I'm actually using the chairs at the moment for work. And we've got more boxes and things. I emptied another box from upstairs earlier on. We have decided not to keep the Mickey artwork. Age just brought that in just to have a look from the garage. We've decided to get rid of that. It was to cover a wall that needed tiling in our old master bathroom. So we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, we've just got more bits and pieces to get rid Never of. Never ending work in progress. But each time, slowly, slowly, we're making a little bit more progress, which is really good. Aid's running a bath. I'm going to go get in it. And then I am so glad that I made chilli soup this morning because we are both exhausted. It's five o'clock and I've been working now for almost 12 hours. So I'm definitely ready for a cosy bath, soup and a cosy evening. And looks like that's going to be Aid's next project. And he's also been unpacking mugs as well because we've got quite a few spare shelves still in the kitchen cupboards. This bean and lentil chilli looks amazing. And we've got tortilla chips to dip in. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. I will confess it's not much left morning left now. It's nearly noon. I'm, I'm working at my desk doing some admin stuff. We have had a cozy morning actually. We have had breakfast together um, on the sofa in the kitchen, so that was really nice. And Aid is now plumbing in the kitchen. We've both got big lists to plow through today. Let's go and see how it's going. Can I come in? Yeah, hang on a second, we're in the door, there we go. That's all right, how are you doing? Yeah, fine, thank you. Are you excited to try this? Yeah, well, if you wanna have a look in the cupboard, you can see obviously there's a multitude of pipes that go through to the wall. Mm. So we've already cut the hole down there for the one for the washing machine. Yep. Um, so obviously I need to make sure there's nothing behind, but it's fine in the best place because I've got the drain and the feed. You see? Right. So basically I've got to check first of all behind here because this there's a bit of gap behind there. Yeah. But there's all these pipes that go places. Okay. And of course you can't see where they are. Oh. So I need to make sure and I've been feeling around. Yeah. But feed taps into there and this is where the drain's got to go. Okay. So I'm just working out the best place to make a hole to then feed around and connect it all up. Good luck. Like we did with the washing machines. Washing yeah. machines connect this drain. The new modern things are really quite good actually. It's okay. all quite compact, but then you've got to think about it before actually going to plumb things in. Okay. So then drill through anything. Yeah, that wouldn't that be good. That sounds really boring, doesn't it? No, it's fine. Anyone needs anything done though, just... <laughs> Thank you, I'll leave you to it. I'll get back to my boring admin. Is this boring though? I think yours is more fun than mine. Did you want to do this? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've had an email to say, Amazon attempted my order, my delivery. It was DPD and we weren't in. We've been, I've been here. My, my window looks out over the front. Nobody's attempted delivery. I've seen them. 
I'm so annoyed. They obviously couldn't find us. And, um, yeah, so I don't really want my delivery. It's four gifts. And we are now the week before Christmas, so hopefully they'll come tomorrow. And we can't even arrange to go and pick it up from a local place because it says we don't have any. So, um, fingers crossed, our usual DPD guy will be working tomorrow and we'll get them there. It's a common problem with new housing estates. I think they need temporary signs up to say numbers, your street name and numbers such and such to such and such this way. Even if it's just on a bit of wood that's stuck in the ground, just so that people know. How are you doing? Dishwasher's plumbed in. Ah, oh, well done. Oh, I do need some measure though because we're still struggling to get it far enough back. Um, I know they're going to come around and have a look because there's a drain pipe from the boiler that goes at the back, but also where the plug goes, it's where it's too thick. Ah, oh, okay. So I want a bit of a measure. So we, we can't use it yet? We can. Oh, okay. Oh, we can use it. Yeah, I want to use it. I want to try it. I want to make yeah, sure that's what I was thinking. Anything. Um, but the actual fitting of the door for the integrated unit is the, what we're, uh, we're waiting for the doors. Yeah. But it's also how far back it can go in so the doors can fit on the front. Now, what's next on your list? Next on my list, I'm going to go and take a trip to Wix. That's exciting. Yeah. I'm going to get some love boards. I'm going okay. to have a look at some wall insulation for the garage as well. So Try and make it a bit... Yeah, I mean... Damp not proof to, in there. Yeah, I mean, I'll say damp proof. Just make it a little bit... Uh, it's just single brick. Um, obviously, you want to make sure because breathes, bricks breathe as well. So, just want to make it a little bit more insulated so we can actually use it as a space, as in storage space. Not to live out there. <laughs> he said not to live out there. So, basically, we can not worry about cardboard boxes going wet in there, which is what's happening when it rains at the moment. Um, next on my list, I'm going to sort the upstairs cupboard out because I've decided that over Christmas, all my wet boxes are going to be stored in I've there. just ordered um, another one of these rugs from Amazon for the back door. It fits by the patio doors absolutely perfectly. And it's just under 25 pounds. We really like this rug, don't we? It feels really, really nice. It's not as rough as I expected, actually. And we're gonna put um, some um, waterproof stuff underneath as well by the back door because it gets quite wet when we're in and out. So the plan today is to sort out this so we can use it as proper space and get rid of the boxes. They're empty on the landing. Um, I've got dropping some off at charity next week. Get rid of work boxes in there and also hopefully some of these as well. So we clear them out of Louis's room. So the plan is we've got empty suitcases, that's all bed linen in that cupboard. We've put them in the suitcases. The suitcases have got like plastic legs, wheels on them, so they're not gonna absorb the damp on the ground in the garage. So that is safe to go in the garage. We have ordered some silica gel packs um, to absorb the damp, but they were with the Amazon order that never arrived today. We've ordered some big ones, we've ordered some small ones, all to go in the garage, and they're recha like rechargeable, reusable. Um, I was hoping to show you them in the video. Goodness knows when they'll arrive. But basically they start off orange and then when they absorb the damp, they turn to green, pop them in the microwave for a few seconds and that recharges them and then you can reuse them again. So they're not just like a one use thing. We thought that'd be really handy at the moment. And the idea is we're gonna put as much stuff into like plastic boxes, suitcases, put that in the garage of all the stuff that is on the ground with the silica gel and fingers crossed. We've also got a dehumidifier in there as well. So um, we do have a plan in action at the moment. Right, let's start emptying this. I've got my Nan's sewing machine as well. I don't wanna leave that in the garage. So just got lots of stuff that we just don't know where to put at the moment. And Cliff, thank you so, so much for telling me about the Christmas movie with the pioneer woman on um, in Ray Drummond. Ray Drummond, um, we've got that ready to watch later. Oh, also, um, there's a recipe I've been wanting to try for ages. It is a bread and butter caramel apple recipe. And I've been meaning to do it since we were in the last house and still haven't got around to it. So Aid's gonna pick up some apples because I've only got one left on the way home and we're gonna make that later for supper. Oh gosh, it's four o'clock. I am so warm. <laughs> right, I got on the scales this morning. Our diets haven't been the best since we've been here. Um, Meal-wise, it's fine, but we're having a lot of treats, like the bacon sandwich this morning. And now I've just been doing all this stuff, and I've reminded myself 
the reason why I haven't gained any weight recently is because moving is such an active um, phase of your life. I've just stacked all these boxes. I've emptied all the things. Some of these are so, so heavy. All these kit papers, it's just like moving again, but the opposite. Labelled everything. This is all stock for my kits. Um, apart from this, actually, this was from our wardrobe. We've got bags, towels, wardrobe stuff, tissue paper, trip memorabilia, paper bags, fabric and journals, and then I'm just sorting out kit stuff through here and I remembered all the storage cupboards from my desk which are now downstairs in the office are all empty that's where all this kit stock used to be stopped before so that's going to head back down there now but I am so so warm I think Aid's just heading back from Wix um yeah it's a definitely a physical experience <laughs> moving house so for at the moment that can live in there. We've still got plenty of space as well if we need to put anything else in. The rest of the place is sorted. We're now in a bit of a pickle in here. Um, we've got cases with bed linen, cases with rugs. Um, Aid's going to put some of his older clothes that he doesn't want to get rid of into cases. Um, we've got empty cases now. And he's just been bringing in bits and pieces again. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to try and sort the larder out as well. I'm going to come in here and see if I can have a little bit of a sort out because I want one of the storage boxes back um, that should be in the studio. And I want to try and organise this a bit better. I actually feel like we're in a more of a pickle now than we were before we started this sort out. Um, Aid's back from Wix and he's currently putting loft boards up in the garage. He wanted to watch the football. I feel really sorry for him. Uh, it's after five o'clock now. It's dark outside. This is what I've done to the larder. Uh, we have a spare bench, spare dining bench. They're actually two for £50. Pounds. We only needed the one. Um, and it was actually one of the cheapest ones that we found anyway. So we figured we'd use it somewhere else in the house. So for now, it's going to live in there. But we've just got stuff everywhere at the moment. The pantry space does look a little bit more organized and I've used one of the dining chairs to put the microwave on for the time being we don't actually use the microwave but um I think we probably will on Christmas day I'm gonna surprise him saw these in the larder I bet he was gonna be doing these for dinner tonight when he was watching the football so I'm gonna get them on and I'm gonna caramelize a load of onions as well I'm gonna make him a treat Aids called me Ouch! Oh, stood on a stone. Aid's called me to go and have a look and see what he's doing in the garage. I'm just getting my shoes on. We'll go see his progress. He looked happy. We've got boards up there already. Yeah. Oh. And they're screwed down. Oh, they're screwed down as well. Yeah, so that Gosh, is the whole so section busy. there. Yeah. Now, obviously, the end bits, because obviously where the breeze blocks comes in, I need other bits to cut out. And these little bits, I'm going to do inserts, but I wanted to get the whole boards in. This yeah. side here, that side there, and that side there. We've got four boards left. Well done. I bought six packs, so six, threes are 18. We've got four left, so I've used 14 up there. Mm. Can't do this side at the moment because the electrical runs for the light. Okay. And on there, so I need to repin that on the side. Oh, so it's your keyboard. Yeah, exactly. What was but Holly's keyboard? We're going to move, obviously, this. Some of this up there. But you said that's your job the next couple of nights yeah, after work. Just to come and put things that we know we don't need, or even empty boxes. Yeah. It's the fact of this is for the bin, this is our bin box. Okay. Brabantia one. Mm. So just in case of any issues, I think we're good with it, aren't we? I think we can be. Outside light. You, okay, you can do an outside light. Very quickly. As well. Are you? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to. Do you mind? No, well done. Now I'm slowly getting there. We can see the floor again. There we go, apart from my boxes that I'm in the middle of doing. Um, everything is tidy again. I'm going to make some dinner and I've just printed off that little recipe so I'm going to do that. I feel like we need a treat. Off the problem lately, we keep needing treats. Um, but it's quarter to six and we haven't eaten since that one bacon sandwich at about 10 o'clock this morning. So we're definitely ready for food. Aid's jumping in the shower. I'm gonna make that um, toffee apple, what was it called? Uh, we call it toffee apple bread and butter pudding, I think. Oh, by the way, so many of you have left such lovely comments with regards to us moving. Thank you so, so much. 
but lots of you have said that you haven't had great experiences when you've moved. I've had people tell me that they felt homesick when they moved and I've just felt so sad for you guys that haven't had the same um, sort of happy experience moving into a new home or even with new builds, some of you have had problems. I thought I heard somebody out there and it freaked me out. I think it's Aid upstairs I can hear. Um, yeah, and one of you left a comment and said that you wish you'd put the flooring down, the protective flooring down when you had appliances delivered and that curries ruined your new flooring. That's so bad. Um, yeah, that protective flooring we are using time and time again. It's been really helpful. Just had a message from Royal Mail. Apparently they were going to be delivering another Amazon delivery today and it's been rerouted. It was due to come today, so no idea where that is. We're not doing very well with our deliveries today. But thank you so, so much. We read every single message. I've been really bad at responding and I'm so sorry. It's just, everything has been completely crazy here. Louise asked today to come home a day early, which is amazing. I can't wait to have my kids home, but um, that leaves us now three days to get organized. Um, so yeah, the heat is on. Um, but thank you. We really, really appreciate all your lovely comments and messages. Thank you so much. So I have melted some butter. I'll leave the recipe down below. And you just brush the bread over with the melted butter. And whilst this is doing, I've got the remainder of the butter in the pan with the apples. This is definitely a treat dish. And if you can't have it, over Christmas, then I don't know when you can, it's definitely a time for treats. And the bread is in the dish. Now I am very, very confused because in the ingredients it doesn't mention custard. It doesn't even have the ingredients to make custard. But then it says about pouring 750 grams, or mils, I can't remember, of custard. I'm so confused. So thankfully I've got two tins of custard in the cupboard because I think they missed it off. So if you are making this, you may well need a couple of tins of custard as well. And I'm just whisking together two tins, two small tins of Morrison's Savers Custard with the milk. So hopefully this is correct. And let's check on those apples. They're supposed to start, oh yeah, don't caramelize. Look, oh, these look so nice. It's like toffee apple bread and butter pudding. I might have to do this again sometime. Oh, could you imagine it with tinned peaches? That would be so nice. I forgot the sugar. It was supposed to have a tablespoon of sugar somewhere. No idea where. I think it'd be sweet enough. Right, I've thrown on my apples. Oh, this is heavy. And we're gonna pour the custard over and leave it to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then it goes in the oven. The oven is on 190 and it goes in for about half an hour. All the bread to soak it all up. This is such a British pudding, isn't it? Bread and butter pudding, perfect for a Sunday. Oh, that was a perfect amount. And how do you eat your, your hot dogs? We are both mustard and ketchup. This toffee apple bread and butter pudding smells delicious. I did sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar over the top before it went in the oven. I'm gonna leave it to cool down a little bit and then we're gonna go for it. Doesn't this smell good? Awesome. You smell it when you come in the kitchen. Yes, I could. Sort of smell of sweetness. I really smell the toffee apple. We haven't had anything like this for ages, have we? Oh, look at all the custard in there. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna try a bit with the bread and the apple. Oh, it's very nice. It's almost like mm. French toast. Mm. It does a bit. It's a really hot thing. Mmm. Oh, it's so nice. That is so good. It's really nice. Such a nice dessert. It's having the custard in it. It's what not is too about, sweet either. What is it about puddings that have bread in them? Mm. That are just so, or something like that, spongy. It's a real comfort, isn't it? Oh, hot. Oh, hot bit. <laughs> I love as well the apple. It's got a bit of a stickiness, a bit of chewy. 
I agree with you. I think you said earlier on you can imagine this with maybe peaches. Mm. It's so nice. This is so. This would be a good breakfast. It is a bit like French toast almost yeah. as well. This would be a nice brunch. With some syrup. I'm going to enjoy it. This is so good. I think I'll definitely be going in for seconds. Right. I think this is the perfect time to finish this vlog. It's been a very productive weekend. Lots of problem solving, which we haven't completely solved yet. But hopefully we will. Not too bad. Mm. What more problem solving we do? The garage. That's the main problem at the moment, isn't it? All the boxes well, getting damp. We kind of knew that anyway. Um, mm. We've just got... We have been here just a few weeks. Three weeks. Mm. So we mm. get, we'll, we will get there. Mm. Yeah? It's, we've only just literally started. Somebody left a comment the other day actually saying, you'll be surprised, or don't be surprised, how many times you reorganise things and you change things and you redo things. I, mean, I am finding that a lot. I think because not, not many things are like in their forever home. Like the larder, we want to get proper shelves. We need proper storage in other rooms. So it's just, I guess, just keep reorganising at the moment, isn't it? Anyway, Can let's... I say something on that? Yeah. Remember before we moved in, mm -hmm. that you, there was someone either you followed or you'd watched, mm -hmm. and they'd moved. Mm -hmm. The one time they moved, they planned everything. Oh yeah, I know. In preparation. But yeah. then the second time they said they weren't going to do mm -hmm. that. I think you need to find out what suits. Mm. Like building the shoe storage, we've realised that that goes nicely in the place where we originally thought it was going to go. Need to cut out the base yeah. a little bit though. Yeah, we can do that. Mm. But I don't want to rush that mm -hmm. to make it look. It needs to look good. But what I'm saying. Caramelised apples are really good. Things will take time. Yeah. Anyway. Let's finish this vlog and wish everyone a happy new year. Mm. Have an amazing 2024. Thank you for being here with us. We really support yes. fans. And we look appreciate forward to, it. Yeah, we look forward to sharing more in the new year. Yay! Happy so, new year! Happy new Thank year! You. Thank you! Bye! Bye.